heal the energy of the inner child. Heal the inner child and let all limitations be lifted. This part can be damaged when we have our inner child. To our lives, work and relationships have a lasting impact. Only when we truly begin to see this inner child and begin to heal, these wounds and limitations can be healed and lifted. The inner child is a part of ourselves, the self we have been ignoring. When we meet our inner child, can activate seven healing energies. Let the replayed injured memory in the brain gradually quiet down to help us move deeper towards inner integration. The first energy is the energy of responsibility. Children are spontaneous, they don't know how to deal with it. So thank God for the miracle and gift. The energy of cosmic responsibility will bring us information, knowledge, wisdom. Let's deal with this inner child. Responsibility is related to the crown chakra. The second energy is the energy of apology. Children need to know that someone is listening. The energy of apology will open a child's heart to acceptance. When a child is really hurt, they may try to push the person away. I don't want to be touched, I just want to be alone. The energy of apology flows into the child and dispels the need to push away. When a child at this level pushes people away, he is actually pushing God away. Don't let divine love flow into their hearts. Apology is related to the eyebrow chakra. The third energy is the energy of forgiveness. Because with an apology, the child is open to forgive and to receive forgiveness. Forgiveness is related to central communication throat chakra. The fourth energy is the energy of love. We have always invoked these energies by thanking God for his miracles and gifts and decided that this is love. Love is related to the heart chakra. Fifth, the energy of surrender. Surrender means surrendering all actions that no longer apply. Surrender comes from the center of the solar plexus. The more you surrender, the stronger you will be. Surrender is related to the solar nerve chakra. The sixth is the energy of gratitude, which is the grace associated with creation. Created in the divine will, you will experience joy, happiness and ecstasy in your life. Gratitude is in the chakra of creation, the umbilical chakra. The seventh energy is letting go. Letting go is not pushing things away. It's about releasing what's no longer needed. It's a beauty, just let it go. We need to open our hearts so that we can be free. Letting go is related to the submarine wheel. These inner children have already grown up. As children, they may remain silent. Because certain scenarios are not allowed, they might push themselves away, thinking they're going to get through this. These children grow up with a distorted picture, become the reality in real life. When looking back at these truths, the horror, fear, abandonment of the past, and the memory of violence keeps replaying. This is the first door, the door of the pain body. A lot of people don't want to go in or don't want to come out after going in. It's not that I can't, it's that I don't want to. Because it seems that only being in tune with painful memories is loyalty to oneself. Only by being in sync with one's own memory can one be with oneself. Children, don't forget the courage to walk through the first door. That's not the end. More courage is to go through it and get to the second door. This second door is called now. The next is the living face, the situation to taste the taste of life. Enter this space called now. Calm down and open your eyes to see your real life. Perhaps you are a supervisor, a teacher, a professional, or nothing at all. Re-examine them, the present is not to be cut off from the past. It's about seeing how those experiences nourish who you are now, and you are real. Yes, you need to see your existence for yourself. Your love must first be given by seeing the real you. When you are willing to love yourself unconditionally, your love can be fulfilled. To achieve healing, we must stop, connect with our inner child and accept ourselves. Listen to your inner voice. 
Perhaps a sad, lonely child lives there. She cried and said, Please love me. Stop and hug yourself, hold his hand and move forward together. Once our inner child is healed, his joy, creativity, vitality, trust, and other characteristics can be expressed without hindrance. Bring endless fun and hope to our lives. Now, do you see yourself in the dark night? Face him, hug him tightly, and say to him sincerely, I love you. The above is today's sharing, I hope you will like it, see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, like our videos, welcome to the good luck quartet, like share, subscribe and most importantly turn on the little bell. Thanks for watching, see you next time bye.